Happy New Year, Leo! Um, I'm really excited for you guys here at the beginning of 2019, January. I'm really excited for all the signs. So my name is Misty, and um, this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If this doesn't resonate, um, check out your Moon, your Rising, your Venus, or some of the other great readers that we have here. So we're going to be um, talking a little bit about your astrology, but mainly using the cards to navigate the energies of January 2019 for my Leo tribe. All right, this is for Leo. I'm having a lot of body stuff come up, really core energy stuff come up. I'm seeing some of you needing to rest, um, possibly even, um, yeah, I see some of you needing to rest. Um, and I'm seeing health issues. I'm seeing the need, I'm seeing, yeah, the very first thing I feel is health issues coming up, you know? There's a lot of energy moving forward, tons of passion, tons of fire. It's just like constant momentum, constant momentum. That's what I see, I feel. Just constant momentum of this movement um, forward and um, I'm feeling the need to rest um, coming in I'm feeling the examination I feel like this this new moon is in Capricorn um, it comes with a solar eclipse and um, it's really in the area of your health it's really in the area of your finances no, not your health but just your finances oh yep and we got finances we got both going on here so we're going to really be looking at our belief systems around our finances um, and around our health and how those two are interrelated. I mean, that's the big thing that comes up is how are those two interrelated? There's a big focus on work um, and there's been a big struggle um, going on and the struggle is real and it's causing some heartache. It's causing some heartache. So you're secure but discontent. Um, and there's some something that you're doing that is you falling around adversity. There's you falling around something that's keeping you outside of the lights. Here I said health issues. Here we got somebody with a cane, hobbling leg. Like where are you not feeling too good? Where are you not taking care of yourself? Are you chasing the money? Are you trying to get inside that light? What, what's going on here? Um, and this is... This is really looking at your daily habits, your daily trudging through life. I'm just seeing that trudging through life and, uh, and how you're doing that. Um, and some of the ways and some of the self-care things are just masked to mask how you're really feeling and mask what's really going on inside. We get the page of cups here and what's jumping out is that he's got a painted face. You know, he's got a painted face. A lot of love here. A lot of love here um, and there's this sense of you know things that have really worked well a lot of movement forward there's some pride and vanity with what has worked well and what what has yeah what has really really worked well and and I really just feel um, wow this new opening um, this new thing coming in yeah, I feel this new thing coming in very, very strongly. And is something new coming in? Where are those blessings coming in? The blessings are coming in, but, you know, first let's rest. First let's take a little break. Let's let's rest a little bit. Um, and let's give us some time. Um, and, you know, be patient. Patient, slow work, and opening for something new coming in. Now that's something new is coming in. Um, it really feels more like over the next couple months, if some of you are looking for a new business venture, um, consider your new business venture. This is the time for sure. Your self card is a struggle card. The ground underneath you is crumbling. I'm seeing the struggle in a few different ways. So you need to be asking yourself, you know, at the people around you, are they pulling their weight? Are they doing their job? Are they doing what they need to do? You know, are, are you know, what, what are they doing? You know, I think that this is really time to go into your shadow time. Go into your rest. Go into your sleep. Look at your shadow. This is huge for you to rest. I just want to give a moment there. Because you're scared to rest. You know? There's places where you could be over investing um, with your time or with your money. And so before, you know, I want you to be thinking long term here, not short term here. You know, you can take the short term gain and the long term pain. Or you're going to take your short term pain for a long term gain. Short term pain for you right now looks like resting. 
That's pain. Because then you're going to... I don't know. I don't know what you're going to have to go through there, to be honest. I'd have to pull so a little bit more card break there. But I'm seeing a, a wisdom coming in about this long-term thing. Now, for those of you... Um, for, the, for, for a lot of you, not for those of you, for a lot of you, I'm seeing meditation coming in. I'm seeing contemplation. I'm seeing the need to follow your own guidance, your own inner light, to really spend that time contemplating. Um, that's really, really important for you. Really, really important for you. And, you know, to not be afraid to step up and call out people that are not in alignment, you know, and that aren't working. Some of you want to travel. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh yeah, and then after this period, sorry, <laughs> after this period, I can just feel this like huge burst of energy just shining, love, light, beautiful energy, this full moon. There's a full moon, lunar eclipse at zero degrees Leo. So if you take your rest period, you reevaluate your work and health beforehand, look at those areas that you have been in denial about um, and being passive about, look at those shadow sides. And then know that you are setting yourself up for wisdom, long-term wisdom coming. Um, and I just see you getting so, so shiny, just so shiny, um, very, very shiny. Yeah, and you're in your power. You are in your power so strong. It feels so good. Yeah, you're going to look at this. <laughs> this is great, Leos. There you got your little lion. You're in your power. You're holding your power. You know? You got something new coming long term. I mean, you got this is just so beautiful. And then boom, there it is. Playful, loving, moving forward, joyful. This is at the end of the month. Um, and it's really the end of the month is all about you, you know, having some fun, getting out in your social circle and having fun. Having fun. I think for some of you, there's an opportunity for some travel at the end of the month. Um, yeah, some travel. And, uh, you know, after this little rest period, um, there's some romantic energy that really, really comes up. I really feel it. There's really, um, and I think for some of you, there might be some romance with somebody that's far away or further away, but like this. Yeah, you got this romantic energy, just bringing that cup in and just really, you know, this is about you being in an established place, though. This is about you being in your power. This is about you shining from a place of love. Um, enjoy. All right. Any more messages for my Leo tribe? Yeah, tons of blessings coming in for you guys. Something new coming in. You're going to be rebuilding. You're going to be rebirthing. There's just a rebirth period. These eclipses are huge for you over this next year. You're going to be making some decisions and setting out on some new adventures, you know. Uh, make sure that you're not looking at the bad. You're looking at the bad thing so much that you don't see a good thing when it's offered to you. Something good is being offered to you. Don't miss it because you're over here. Me, you're gonna be over here with a little sad face, looking off, missing the cup that's coming in. This is awesome. You know, get get grounded in your body. This is your body. This is your home. Your body is your only home that you have. So at the beginning of the beginning of it is, you know, really about your work, your health, reestablishing it for the next 20 years. Understand when, when I'm talking to you now that these eclipses, this cycle that we're entering into is a 20 year cycle with your work and with your health and the balance between the two. And um, yeah, set it and set it well and get ready because you're going to rebuild. You have new opportunities coming in. I'm really excited for you guys really, really excited. Please rest. Please contemplate. Um, please meditate. Please. Just five minutes a day. 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30, 45, two hours if you're crazy, two hours. Um, all right, Leos. Um, you guys are awesome. Um, please like, subscribe, or comment. A little strange noise over there. And I'll see you guys next month.